Hey students, this is episode 17 of Hey Students. This week, I play a little bit of my violin and we meet some more students and and we do a practicing tips with Mr. Vote. So, hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Hi. I'm Mr. Vote. Welcome to another Like I've said before in previous practicing tips with Mr. Vote, what I usually do when I encounter a part in my music that I'm studying that is too difficult is I find a, just a little chunk. I will isolate just a little spot uh, whether it's just two notes or maybe it's a whole phrase or a measure or two measures, just something that's small. And then I use a metronome and I slow down the tempo to make that little passage easy enough to play perfectly. And what I'll do is I'll play it several times. So the, the tip for today is to play the passage many times perfectly without messing up. And I usually say 10. So when I'm doing it, I'll slow down the metronome we're playing just one little chunk and I'll play it 10 times in a row without messing up. So if I mess up, I start over. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll use a little counter. I'll put pennies on the music stand or Skittles or something and I'll have all the 10 over here. And then when I do it right, I just move one, one over and then I do it again. When I do it right, move it over and I keep doing that. And if I mess up, I start over again and I get to the point where I can play it 10 times without making a mistake at that tempo. Then the next step would be to use the metronome and speed it up. Uh, sometimes I'll just do one click higher or sometimes I'll just maybe do four clicks higher. So I might be at a quarter note equals 76 and then I'll change it maybe to a quarter note equals 80. And the, the idea is that you're doing it so many times perfectly that you're training your body to do it correctly every time. And you're doing it at a slow tempo so that you can do it perfectly. And then as you gradually speed up, you're training your body to be able to do it perfectly. Um, and then what I'll do is, like I've said before, with the metronome, I'll speed it up and I get it to the tempo it should be at, and then I'll go a little bit faster so that when I relax into the correct tempo, it feels like, ah, oh, this feels good, this is easy now. And that's it, you've gotten better after doing that. So once again, play the passage enough times, perfectly, confidently play it without making any mistakes. We'll use pennies or candies or something to help me keep track of that. So there you go. That is practicing tips with Mr. Vote. Good luck practicing. So I know this is a little random for me to think that this is so cute, but <laughs> this little guy, it's a creeper from Minecraft. He's just so cute. I just think he's cute. He's just gonna explode and, and just take away all my health. <laughs> this next clip, I need to explain. <laughs> so I've been working on this piece from Suzuki Book 2, the Gavat from Mignon. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I've been working on it all term, <laughs> the full first term. I wanted to like perform it or record it, so I decided to record it and post it here. After I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh. It's not ready. One of the reasons why I'm posting it anyway is that I, I wanted you to understand as a musician, like we always have stuff that we can work on. And every time, every time I see myself play like a recording, I always think, oh, I wasn't ready to do that recording. And I feel that way about this. I'm realizing that there's a lot of problems I'm having. If you watch me play, I move my, my shoulder like way too much. <laughs> And watching a recording of myself actually helped me realize that. So that's another good idea is to play for a mirror or to record yourself and watch it. And there's some intonation issues and there it's not a polished performance, but I spent hours and hours working on it and I grew a lot working on this piece. Just don't judge me. <laughs> Cause as you know, I'm a tuba player and I'm, the violin is, is not my primary instrument. So I'm still learning to play it, but it's really fun. And I've enjoyed working on this piece. So without further ado, here is the Gavat Mignon, 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 by Mignon, Mignon. Here we go.
another segment of Students Hey! So here we have some of our students from the Chamber Orchestra. Uh, let's start with you. What is your made up name? My name is Savannah. I play the viola. So I started playing the viola because my orchestra teacher at Fervos asked me to play the viola because they need viola players and I have been playing it for three years. My name is Grace and I play the violin and I chose the violin because of Lindsay Sterling actually because I've been doing dance since I was four and I thought it was really cool that she did the violin and dance at the same time so that's why I decided to play the violin. I also do choir and I'm in the a cappella and the top choir, which is something that I really love at this school. And I'm Elena. I play the viola. I only play because my mom thought it'd be nice because my older two brothers are playing the violin and my younger brother is playing the cello and they actually wanted to. I've been doing viola for two years. Um, my name's Annabeth and I play the violin. I've been playing the violin for seven years. I started playing the violin because, well, my parents make all of us play an instrument, so it's either guitar or violin. So I decided to play violin, and I've actually learned guitar now, so yeah. I also play the piano, and I have been playing the piano for five years now. And I also play tennis, and so I play doubles with my partner. It's really fun. I play the piano, and I've been playing since I was eight, and now I'm 14. I also have been dancing since I was four, and I also like to do pretty much anything with art and music and stuff. I have been doing ballet since I was like five. My mom really liked it. Other than that, I'm a big nerd because I read a bunch of books and I don't have a life. I'm on the mountain biking team for Provo, and most of my time is spent practicing violin and reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button, and comment your favorite instrument. Alright, that's it. How was that episode? Like I said before, don't judge me too much on my violin playing. I'm just a tuba player learning to play violin. It's taking me a while. But anyway, I hope you have a good week. Um, I know things are crazy. I keep saying that every video feels like things are crazier than they were the week before. But just be patient, be kind to one another, and uh, yeah, catch you on the flippity flop. What? what? Okay. Now we should be dead. All right. No! No!